Rapids fans, it's so good to be back and big news in Rapids world this week as they signed a new DP, Andres Maxo. And I get to sit down with you and have a little conversation. How are you doing? Welcome to Colorado. Thank you. Uh, I'm doing good. Yeah? Uh, I'm uh, excited to, to be here and uh, nice weather, but it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, fantastic. Yeah, I'm sure everybody has been telling you it's not always as cold. Um, wait till you get to the summer. It is beautiful here. So, um, what are your first impressions? It's not just your first time here in Colorado. You've never been in the United States before. That's true. Yeah, I mean, uh, first of all, it was a long journey, uh, long travel uh, to here. But uh, yeah, it seems uh, nice. Uh, really calm and, and relaxed and uh, of course it's a little bit cold outside but uh, I will get used to it. Yeah, it is a pretty relaxed place here so you picked a good place. Seems like that's kind of your vibe as well. Um, when you're looking at different teams, what really attracted you to the Rapids and, and wanting to come here and be a part of this club? Uh, I think the most important thing for me was that they really wanted me. Uh, of course I was speaking with the, with the the coach and, and, and the sports director and I had a good feeling from start uh, so uh, yeah we were yeah we kept in touch and and uh, we were able to to find each other and also uh, with uh, with Bonby so that was yeah. uh, was yeah. perfect it doesn't surprise me that Robin Fraser would want you as a DP in this club. He's a very well-known defender in his own like when he was playing, and he knows how important it is to build a team from the back up. What do you like about being able to play as a central defender, and what is it about that position that you feel like you can really thrive at? Uh, you have a good uh, overview of the of the field. Uh, you have a big impact. You can you can help uh, yeah, your teammates. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, you uh, you need to, to defend the goal uh, first of all. Uh, but you also, you, I also have to to um, to uh, start the, the, the attack. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's yeah, it's it's really nice. That's one of the things that stood out to me about your play is your ability to start the attack. And you haven't always been a defender, right? You were a midfielder for a little bit of your career. How have those aspects of your game helped you be a more well-rounded defender of what you learned when you were in a, mid a midfielder? Yeah, when when you are in the midfield, you have uh, not so much time as a defender. Uh, so so when you go down and then play there, you have a little bit more time. And and yeah, that's 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 great if, if you uh, if you are able to, to use it in a good way. Uh, so uh, it has been a, a good school to, to start on the midfield uh, and then uh, yeah, go back on the, on the pitch and, and, and be a center back. And you use some of those, those passing abilities as a center back too. Yeah. Yes. You're gonna like that, you guys, uh, <laughs> Rapids fans. The word leadership has been thrown out a lot when people are referring to you. How would you describe your role as a leader and how you hope to impact this team? First of all, like I said, uh, as a as a center back, you have a good view of, of the field, of the pitch. So you need to help your, your teammates, uh, teammates. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's really important. Uh, I'm, I'm a calm guy outside of the of the of the pitch, but but when I when I enter into the pitch, uh, I uh, I like to help and and of course demand also uh, uh, a lot of of my uh, my teammates, but in a good way. Mm -hmm. You were recently a part of a league title with Bromby. It was their first title in over a decade, a really long time. What are some of the biggest takeaways you take from that season of being successful that you hope to bring to a team here that is also looking to drive towards that type of success? We were a team the whole, the whole way. Uh, no, no big stars and yeah, sometimes you just have this, uh, this team who clicks, uh, but you have to, to work hard. Uh, every day on the pitch uh, to to keep keep it that way. Uh, 
but yes, it was an amazing uh, experience, uh, especially because it was where I'm from, so yeah. uh, it meant a lot for, for a lot of people. Yeah, what was that like holding that trophy up? And... Yeah, amazing, yeah. amazing. Yeah, something you'll never forget. Never. So, some of the teammates that you've played with have now made their way to MLS. Makulua, Hani Mukhtar playing, and they both actually hit the ground running in what can be a really difficult league to find your footing in. Um, Ula made it to MLS Cup last year. Mukhtar is now the reigning MVP. Do you talk, do you talk to the guys often? Have you uh, kept in touch with them? I was only playing with Hani for, for six months. Yeah. Uh, but but Ua, he's my, he's my good friend. Yeah. We spend a lot of time also outside the football. Uh, okay, what has he told you? What do you need to know about MLS? Yeah, but you know, it's the funny thing is like in Europe, you, I think you underestimate the, the MLS, uh, and that is one of the things he said. He told me. Uh, he told me. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to to uh, to see the the level. Yeah. What was your knowledge of MLS? Were you able to watch some of the games? What is your? You, you said sometimes that it gets underestimated in Europe the level, but. How much had you been accustomed to watching some of the games? Uh, it's a quite a quite late in Denmark, so uh, actually they started to to broadcast the the early games. Mm -hmm. So I saw a little bit, and of course also the final for, from this season because of Uwe. Uh But there is a lot of uh, tempo, uh, a lot of uh, athletic guys. So uh, for sure, that's gonna be uh, be uh, a good experience for me. Mm -hmm. This group that you're entering into has a lot of core guys who have been together for a number of years, with a desire, as I, I spoke about earlier, to get back to where they've been in previous season, get back to these winning ways. You've been the new guy in locker rooms of coming into teams with these desires to succeed. How do you acclimate in those situations, and how do you feel like you can help? drive that success? I think the most important is not to change yourself, first of all. Uh, yeah, and then of course work hard every day on the, on the pitch and, and in that way earn the respect. Uh, that's that's the easy way to, to get in the group and of course be, be open and, and talk with, with everybody. Yeah, wherever you go and whatever country you've been in now, you're here in Colorado, you know that the fans are the lifeblood of a club, right? And I've seen some videos of you interacting with the fans group and videos that it's hard not to smile when you see that type of interaction. I, I just want you to describe what your relationship is like fan with fans and how you're excited to just be right over here in a couple of weeks playing in front of these Rapids fans. Obvious, the most important is, is the fans. That's why we have the job. Uh, so we need to uh, to deliver every game, and we need to to yeah to work hard and and, and show the respect in that in that way uh, for the fans who are coming to support us. Mm -hmm. The fans have this tradition of giving away oars to the man of the match. We gotta see you with a couple of those oars, ah, right? Hopefully, but the, the most important yeah. is that we win. Yeah. Have you have you met any of the guys on the team or had any interaction with them yet? No. Not yet. Not sure. I have a feeling you're gonna be friends with Jack Price. He sends in a good free kick and you, oh. you're known to get your head on the end of some balls, right? Ah, hopefully. I will, <laughs> uh, I will do that, but uh, right? it, look, uh, it, uh, it seems great that, that uh, he can uh, Put the ball in, in a good area. Yes, Hopefully yes. we can score some goals. Right. Um, you're going to be here in Denver some, for some pretty big years when it comes to the timing of your career. Let's look to the future. When, when you've come to the end of those few years, what do you hope to look back on as how you've advanced this club? That's a difficult question. Uh, <laughs> I like to live, uh, you know, day by day. Uh, not see so much into the future and, and the past also, uh, but hopefully we're gonna win a lot of games. That's the most important, and and hopefully also also uh, win the, the MLS. Yeah, that would be uh, amazing. Most of all, we're so excited to have you here. 
and we can't wait to see you on the pitch here in just about a month. Thank I'm you. sure you're ready to get to work. Yeah. I'm Enough ready. of this conversation, right? <laughs> just get me to the pitch. That's kind of that what you're feeling. That would be great. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice to talk with you.